Flashcard trials in the games used throughout the week can be accessed by going to Phonics Play. During lockdown, this can be accessed using the following details. Username Jan21, password home. Some of the games can also be accessed by googling Odd and Bob Phonics as there are more games on the Phonics Bloom website. Monday, revisit and review. I want you to think of how many different graphemes you know for the A phoneme. Our best bets are the split digraph AE or AY. Other alternatives are A, EIGH, EI, AIGH and EA. Today we're looking at learning different old spellings for the E A R E phoneme, sorry. Read the phoneme spotter story. What different spellings can we find for the ear phoneme? In the end of the pair, players present a family pantomime. Cinderella. Get ready to cheer and shed a tear. Prepare to jeer and boo. When her father dies, Cinderella is left to be cared for by her fearsome stepmother and her sneering, ugly sisters. She fears she will never be happy again until her fairy godmother decides to interfere. Quite simply, the best pantomime you will see this year. Tickets 01234567890. Let's have a look at that again. And we're going to underline the spellings for the ear phoneme. The end of the pair players present a family pantomime. Cinderella. Get ready to cheer and shed a tear. Prepare to jeer and boo. When her dear father dies, Cinderella is left to be cared for by her fearsome stepmother and her sneering ugly sisters. She fears she will never be happy again until her fairy godmother decides to interfere. Quite simply, the best pantomime you will see this year. Tickets and then the phone number. So we've got E E R E A R E R E, and then at the top of the page we had I E R. There are alternative spellings for, for the ear phoneme. Well done, that's the end of Monday. Phase 5C, week 13, Tuesday. What are the tricky parts of these words? Let's read the words any, any, eh. Mm, it sounds like eh, doesn't it? But it's an A. Not any, it's any. Mm. Eyes, eyes, I. We don't normally have this spelling for I, do we? I want you to cover the words, say them, and try. Say the letter names and write the words. So we've got any eyes, any eyes. Did you spell them correctly? Right, we're going to look at some words containing the ear graphene, ear phoneme. Sorry. I want you to sort them into the different spellings for the ear phoneme. So we've got d, e, s. Ear, disappear, ear, steer, ear, severe, ear, d, beard, front, ear, it's actually front ear, front, is this bit here, isn't it? Front, oh, it looks like it should say front ear, ear, bear. A sphere, a pair, a and a, a interfere, and a gear. Sort them into the spelling for the ear phoneme. Where is the ear grapheme? Or the speller? The ear phoneme in each of these words disappear. At the end, isn't it? Steer, frontier, severe, sphere, beard, oh, beard's in the middle, bear, pear, 
get, whoops, where that one's not been done correctly, and interfere. Most of them, including gear, if it would move, are at the end. So what are the rules for the air graphemes? Remember, the best bet is using EER like in steer or EAR like in beard. It's unusual for the ear sound to be at the start of a word. And unusual spellings for it are IER as in pear and ERA as in sphere. Well done, that's the end of Tuesday. Phase 5C, week 13, Wednesday, revisit and review. How many graphemes can you write for the E phoneme? Our best bet in the middle of words is EE -E or EA. At the end of words is Y, and at the end of short words is E on its own. We're looking at alternative spellings for the ear phoneme. How many words can you think of that rhyme with deer? Write them down and think about how the ear sound is spelt. Right, we're going to use these syllables to make words. So, for example, if I said win de mer, win de mer, win de mer. Or I could say winter, win ter, winter. Listen carefully to the words I say. Interfere, interfere. In, let's move it in. In, to fear. Volunteer, volunteer. Vol, run, tear, volunteer. Severe, st, oops, st, severe, severe, it's only two syllables that one. And finally, steering, steer, ing, another one that's only two syllables. And we have my example of winder, near. Can you read these sentences? Don't sneer at the deer with big ears. Dear Santa, will you have a big beard this year? Stay right there and don't disappear. Well done, that's the end of Wednesday. Phase 5C, week 13, Thursday. What are the tricky parts of these words? Friends, once, oh. Friends, friends. You can't hear that I, can you? I remember I was taught to spell it fry ends for friends. Once. W. No w in once, is there? But we can hear it, so you have to think carefully. And then O, oh, we need to remember the H. I'm going to cover the words. Not with that box. I'm going to cover up these words and... I want you to try and spell them. Friends, once, oh. Friends, once, oh. Did you get them right? Well done. Today we're looking at alternative spellings for the sh phoneme. So let's have a look at these words. Sh, a, Ship, tissue, t -sh you, tissue, chef, sh chef. So we've got S H, double S, and C H with sh sounds. Which graphemes say the sh sound in these words? Mm, suspicion, station, st -a -sh -sh mm, sorry, station, k -a -n -sh mm, confusion, 
I want you to listen to the words, say the words, write their word and check them. So I'm going to tell you some words to spell. Shock, shock, shower, shower, machine, machine, issue, issue, rush, rush, brochure, brochure, and shell, shell. So we had shock, shower, machine, issue, rush, brochure, and shell. I want you to listen to these sentences and then write them. The chef had a shock on the ship. The chef had a shock on the ship. The machine is in a rush. The machine is in a rush. Well done. It's the end of Thursday. Phase 5C, week 13, Friday. We're looking at tricky words. So listen to the words and write, that, write them down. Friends, once, O, any, eyes. See if you can remember those tricky words from across this week. Friends, once, O, any, eyes. Right, today we're looking back at the ear phoneme. So remember, our best bet say E E R. E A R. It's unusual for the ear phoneme to be at the beginning of a word, and other unusual spellings for it are I E R and E R E. I want you to write some words using the different graphemes. Right, we're looking at words with the ear phoneme. Listen carefully. Chair. 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 Steering. Steering, 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 spare, 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 fair, 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 snare, 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 bed, bed. Bed, bed, clear, 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 yeah, 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 and hair, 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 as in over here, sorry, over here. Let's have a look. We got fair in twice there, so we got rid of that one. Well done if you got them right, or if you got lots of them right. I want you to read these sentences and think about which graphy makes the ear sound. Can I hear any jeering or sneering? Will you volunteer to disappear at once? Well done. That's the end of phase. 5C week 13.